Well, I've got to be honest. I really love this country. As I travel around the United States, which I have the pleasure of doing every so often, I'm always so impressed and, and proud to be an American, really. There are so many things that you can do uh, in this country that you can't do everywhere. And how grateful we should be this day and every day uh, for all the men and the women who serve us in our military, our veterans who have served us in the past, and for those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice of giving their lives so that we might continue to live independently and free. Today, our nation, our great nation, celebrates its birthday, in a sense, the date of the signing of the Declaration of Independence, the 4th of July, 1776. This is, of course, a more subdued celebration for many reasons. Uh, we know that there is a lot of trouble in our nation, a lot of disagreement, and a lot of call for reform. St. John Paul II, the saintly one, uh, on his last, very last visit to the United States, which was in 1987, he spoke these words. America, your deepest identity and truest character as a nation is revealed in the position you take towards the human person. This, he said, is the dignity of America, the reason she exists, the condition for her survival. And yes, it is the ultimate test of her greatness to respect every human person, especially those who are the weakest and most defenseless ones, those yet unborn. God has given each one of us a tremendous dignity. We must defend and protect one another so as to be truly human. Anything else denies that human dignity and harms a person in a human family. If you don't believe and you don't do this, how can we be truly sisters and brothers? How can we dare to call God, as Jesus taught us, our, our Father? We pray today for the many victims of racism. We pray for those who are in law enforcement, who carry out their duties with great integrity for the common good. There's no doubt that good officers suffer as a result of the sinful actions of their peers. But as in all things, we are responsible one to the other. And we pray today for a deep and personal and national conversion. However, we cannot expect to simply kind of pray our problems away without putting forth a concerted effort to effect meaningful change in our communities and in our relationships one to the other. So today, this week amidst our celebrations, thank God for the freedom we enjoy, which finds its fulfillment only when we trust in God. Allow that trust to lead you to conversion. Treasure and respect, as I say, the gift of life, your own and everyone you meet. And may God bless America.